this soccer skills tutorial is different than most. I'm gonna give you three tips to help you improve your skills faster. In this soccer skills tutorial, I wanna talk about three reasons why you may not be improving your skills fast enough and really give you three ideas on how to improve faster. Number one is an emphasis on drills over technique. And if you wanna improve faster, I want you to look at it the other way. Put more emphasis on your technique than the actual drill. And what I mean by that is, let's say we wanna improve our passing. So what do we do? We go and search for the most complex advanced drill because we think the harder the drill, the more it's gonna challenge my skills. But what you really need to focus on is the quality of the technique. Most of us, let's say we got a passing drill. We would write down, okay, I'm gonna do 100 repetitions in 30 seconds, and I'm gonna do that five times. We're focused more on the numbers. We're focused on the uh, details of the drill rather than the detail in the technique. So stop worrying so much about the drills and focus more on the technique. In the beginning, all we need are very basic drills. If I want to improve my passing, what I need is to practice better technique on a basic drill just like this and not worried about the number, worried about the quality in the technique, making the technique better every single time. Hey, what's up? I hope you're finding this content helpful. Watch this all the way to the end if you want to find out which subscriber got this video's special shout out. I'll say it one more time. Put an emphasis on technique over drills. Don't think so much about what you're doing, what you're gonna to do today. Think about how I'm going to do it, how I'm going to perform that technique. So this leads me into my next point, which is analysis. You have to learn how to analyze what you're doing if you want to improve faster. Let's say you're doing a shooting drill. Most players will do the shooting drill. Let's say they miss the net. And a lot of us, we have the tendency to miss shots in the exact same way. We get in the same situation, and because, okay, I was trying to miss the net there. <laughs> because of our body mechanics or just the way that we're used to shooting, we usually do the same thing. Tendency for a right footer, go across the body to the left. Tendency for left footer, go across to the right. But the problem is you make that mistake and you get a chance again and you keep making the same mistake. And instead of thinking about why is that happening, actually analyzing it, we just get frustrated with ourselves and we move on to something else. So if you wanna improve faster, you need to learn how to analyze what you're doing. So let's say you went and took this shot. I missed the net, the ball didn't do what I wanted to do. That's not the ball's fault, that's my fault. That's my technique's fault. So don't get mad at the ball. Don't get mad at yourself, just analyze your technique. Obviously, look at my body positioning, I'm facing that way. That's why the ball went there. I followed through across my body. I didn't follow through towards the target. Okay, so whatever happens, maybe you pull it to the right, maybe pull it to the left, maybe you always go over the net, maybe you're not getting it off the ground enough. Stop and think about why does it keep doing that? So I know my tendency is to go there. Well, next time I have to fix that. And I have to go there, I have to go straight, I have to change my technique. So this can be a tough concept for a young player or inexperienced player to understand, but you need to be able to get outside of yourself and actually look at what your body is doing. Okay, it's a skill you'll develop over time. As you get older, it gets easier. But if I keep making the same mistake, I cannot allow myself to continue to do that. Otherwise, I'm just gonna stay the same player. So be aware, be very aware of your mistakes and ask yourself, why is that happening? So the next time, I can change it, I can fix it. Okay, and let me just talk about that one more time because one thing I'll do is, let's say I have a tendency to pull it, a tendency to pull it there to the left like I did before. What I'll do is I will not allow myself to go back over there. If anything, I, can, I say I can do anything else. You can hit the ball anywhere else. Just don't go there because you went there the last 10 times. I can shank it way up here if I need to, but I can't keep making the same mistake. Make a different mistake and then I'll learn from it. But I'll compensate and then I'll usually end up going exactly where I want to go, straight down the middle. The last tip to improve 
your skills faster is a very simple one, but it's the truth. You need more practice. You need more repetitions. We all want to improve, but some of us need to learn to be honest with ourselves. We're expecting to get results without actually putting in enough work. It takes time. It takes consistency and it takes time. So number one, be patient. Realize this is long-term development. Whatever age you are right now, improvement doesn't stop. Every year you're playing, you have to get better. Otherwise, you might just stop playing. And yes, it's about having fun. Yeah, we want to have fun playing football. But believe me, you're going to have way more fun if every time you step on the pitch, you feel better. You feel like you're a better player. You're making a bigger impact on the game. So realize it's a long-term development. It takes time to get better. If you're not seeing the results in one day, don't get frustrated with yourself. Just plug away with it. Use these ideas that we talked about, actually focusing on technique, learning how to analyze yourself, and putting in consistent practice. If I wanted to improve my long passing, I need to find a way to put that into my training every single day. Because if I'm just, let's say I had a team practice, and after the match or after the team practice, I practice pings, maybe I did like 10 minutes of pings a once a week, it's not enough to improve. I need to find a way to make it consistent. I would rather you do something in small amounts every single day than a big portion once a week. So find a way to be consistent with your training. Put in more time, put in more repetitions. I want you to analyze yourself. What do you need to improve? Oh, watch out. What do you need to improve? Maybe it's your passing. Maybe it's your 1v1 skill. Maybe it's your shooting. Find a way to put that into your daily practice consistently. And if you do those things, you're consistent with your training, you learn how to analyze, don't allow yourself to make the same mistakes, and you focus more on the technique rather than the complexity of the drill, you will improve your skills a lot faster. This is the featured subscriber for this video. If you'd like to be featured in future videos, hit that like button, drop a comment below, and let me know how my videos have helped you improve and achieve more in this sport.